apparently we're live and we'll be streaming in 30 seconds. Okay. Uh, but anything we say from this point forwards is taken to public record, so be careful what you say. <laughs> <laughs> Keep your radical views to yourself. Oh, yeah. Well. <laughs> yeah, you can't talk to that background. You're in a cave somewhere in the middle of Iraq. You are. Yes, I am, actually. <laughs> are you one of those closet lumberjack kind of kids? Yeah, it's got to be. It's the lumberjacks uh, revolting. I am a lumberjack and I'm okay. Sleep all night and work all day. Do, 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 do. <laughs> So I suppose, really, I should go on record as one yes, thing you are live. to uh, apologise cool. to Stuart for cutting him out of the Lou Ferringo photograph on Facebook. Yeah, too late. I promise you, it was just <laughs> I couldn't fit all three of us on. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. I felt as a profile picture, I really needed to be on it. You know. And I fit you eat as well. So I, I just got me and Lou. I would have found a way, Luke, I'm just saying. Oh, for God's sake, you won't let anything go. I, you know, Tom, Rob, I've been having this now, this same conversation now for a good week. I know. <laughs> Change one profile picture. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. And the amount of trouble <clears throat> you get into. Oh, is, I get into trouble anyway. Is many, 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 many. many. Um. So is there anything on that list that nobody is happy with? Uh, the only one thing we haven't got in then, I'm trying to think where. No events. Well, have we got any? <laughs> Not yet. Hang is on. there any that we're actually going to, um, you know, because we could get onto something and it could spark a conversation which could, you know, kind of just take over the show. Are there any that we really want to speak about? Um, um, see, I'm, go I'm going to the, re re the renew to the... Uh, the Twilight Realms return event. Yeah, that's what I'm going. As well. So it would be my so that's going to be in when is that? That's on, that's on first of April. Okay. And I'm also I might be going. I'm rather, rather hoping to go to the next new Seera event. I want to get more Facebook tabs. Well, isn't that isn't that under events though? What I was talking about is the discussion of the previous year. Oh yeah, under events. Yeah. Because you've got like, you know, 10, 15 oh, you want to talk about there. So I'm saying yeah. if we start to talk about them and it goes on, which ones are we going to cut and which ones do we want to try and talk about? Gotcha. Because I think that LARPs, the series, needs something. I do think that maybe um, the um, da -da 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 uh, Treasure Trap was something that was big, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, Bill Duran and Punish Props, Patreon. Uh, the shop, Ragland Pirate Festival, those kind of things. Mm -hmm. Because linking in to your thing, if we're all going to Ragland Pirate Festival, of which we must tell Thomas at one point that he's coming as well, we've got to at least tell him. Yeah. Really? Uh, well, we, we'll we just got, leave we... it to the week before, and then we'll tell him then. Have we got to tell him? I mean, I, mean, I, thought, I, I, I thought we were putting a coin in the bottom of his pipe and then knocking him over the head. Well, I just, you know, I think at some point we ought to really tell him. You know, well, if if you think so, I think it's a bad idea personally. But hey, you know, you know, I, I think it's one. Oh God, you, did you hear that? You gone really quiet, bud. What have you done in your microphone? Have you unplugged it? What? No, 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 no. I've been adjusting some settings. That's all. <laughs> well, that was silly of you because we can hardly hear you back now. Up again, then. Yeah, I can adjust the volume back. <laughs> I suggest I'm you make it sound less like in a cave. Okay, but you are in a cave. You know. Just you know, delight in that fact. Mm. I don't know how I do it. It must be something to do with the well, that's mixer. That's, that's good. Really, that was really good then. That's yeah. Well, that's really good now, yeah? Yeah. yeah. No that's cave. Yeah. No gaze? No, no gaze cave. in the cave. No, no gaze no, no. in the cave. That's in the uh, cave next door. You do... <laughs> you you do what you want to in your cave. I'll do what I want to in mine. <laughs> So um, we've got, yeah, we've got, we've got plenty to talk about there. Yeah, yeah. if anybody thinks going on too long, Stu, or anybody wants to think anything's, anything's going on, just you know, tell us to cut it or shut up. Well, whoa, just, whoa, what the f is this part? By here, I'm highlighting right now. What's that? I don't know. I don't, know. Wait, 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 wait. I don't see any problem there. I <laughs> see a major problem right there. <laughs> That's one talking point then. That might introduce his new shirt as well that we've actually gone back on from. Yeah. Monkey Boy to Tom is our bitch to the other one and yeah. you ought to be very <laughs> proud of that. I see. 
because what Stuart really wanted to put on the back, they wouldn't print. <laughs> oh. Oh. They, 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 they said it broke some sort of indecency. I don't know. <laughs> you can't put a cock on the back. They're happy to iron pretty much anything else on, but not one of those. No, apparently, mm. you know. I think it's a bit. I think it's a bit short-sighted of them personally, but you know what can I say? It's going to catch up. Yeah. I suppose you pay for it. You should have whatever the hell. You exactly. Want. You know, we were paying. We were paying good money for it. You know, is. Uh... Well, hang on. Why not the vet? Oh, God, you, you, here he goes. <laughs> what are you? What on earth are you doing? <laughs> <I'm> making... <laughs> yeah, because you're saying. <laughs> Same ass excuse that that's the arm of your mic. Like, yes. I think we all know the truth. It's been Christmas, you've been lonely, and you've been using it too much. <laughs> Don't try and fob us off with that crap. We know what it truly that noise. I yeah. to get it higher. I bet you did, you did. <laughs> <laughs> they got special blue pills for that these days. Um... So, so is that on the Matrix thing? You can have red, which is a downer, and then blue, yeah. which is an upper. Yeah, pretty much. Um, should we do this? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, okie dokie, okie dokie, dokie dokie, dokie dokie, dokie dokie, dokie dokie, right then. Oh, what's yeah. this then? What? Oh, sorry, press the button. Uh -oh. oh, stop that. Stop that. <laughs> <laughs> it's just Thomas' eyes have gone really big, it's made me laugh. <laughs> Tom is now it's inspiring remember. when two computer literate people sit down and go, Oh, I'll press the button. You just expect it. Oh, <laughs> it's God. a big red one saying, "Don't press me." Don't oh press God, me. then that's, we definitely press that. Jesus, oh, God, that's guaranteed, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> the worst thing. I could just start. Now you have heard say, "Don't Stuart, press me." Start. Okay. Before we press any other button. Three, two, one. Hello, I'm Elizabeth Neal, and I play Shane on LARPs the series, and you are listening to the LARP Book Podcast. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the LARP Book Podcast. This is episode 24, Sunday, 27th of December, 2015. This is the last one we shall be doing this year. In today's show, we've got the competition results, which we'll do at the end of the show, so skip forward if you just want to hear those. Um, a year in review, and I've put on much, much more but it'll just be a year in review uh just to you know preface that whole conversation uh with us tonight um not as always but we're trying to get him on as often as we possibly can the man in the cave thomas busby <laughs> it's my cave it's my man cave <laughs> man cave in more ways than one as always with us lucas pitimus maximus aurelius Cause something else for us. Um, <laughs> Lucas Pitimus, how oh, you doing, bud? Sake. I'm alright, thanks, lovely. You're right. Happy Christmas, fella. Happy Christmas to you. <laughs> and of course, naturally, with the long haired one, as per normal, Robert, uh, the incredibly long haired one. Davis, I'm <laughs> not really. Hello, hello again. Again, Merry Christmas. As you can oh, tell. Hang on, hang on for, the video, for those on video. Yes, hang on, he's just... He just yeah. There we go. Oh, God's <laughs> sake, why? Why does he do it? I because. can't do that with my eyebrows. Because he can. Because he's worth it. Because he's oh. worth it. <laughs> 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 so, we've, um, we've pretty much been doing this almost a year now. Yeah. Believe it or not. I know. Cool. You know. In, in, in two episodes. I know. I think for some people, if they only had a year to live, they'd live it with us because it'd be the longest yeah, they, freaking year they they'd ever had. <laughs> genuinely, listening to ours drivel on for as long as we have, you've got to be brave, <laughs> resilient, or just stupid. Um, <laughs> we're not going to call every. Well, we're not going to call my mum our one and only listener stupid. No. By the way, I will get her on to this <laughs> sh uh, show at some point. Do you well, tell you what, we've, we've already got five listeners on Twitch, I'm just saying. Mm. So, got five. Ooh. It's growing. Five. 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 Mum got us. Oh, who's she got on then? Uh, mm -hmm. she must have has, you, has your mum cloned herself, Luke? 
She must <laughs> have, because uh, five listeners, are, well, welcome all five of you. Yes, welcome, 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 welcome. welcome, welcome well, welcome. It's, it's, it's probably your mum, I expect my mum's probably listening yeah, now. Yeah. Uh, Karen's, yes, Karen, my wife, is probably listening, just to see if I talk about her. Um, <laughs> <laughs> to see whether or not there's any I, ammunition I to kill you, me with. What? You, I can find out if your wife is listening or not. Okay. Okay. Oh, let's not make this a snooping show, shall we? <laughs> no, 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 it, it, it's quite simple. To the wives, starting in January, I'm doing work with firemen. I repeat, firemen, and I'm only taking requests for photographs during this show. <laughs> <laughs> you're good. No, yeah, you're good. That's, that is excellent, mate. That is uh, fair good. play. Uh, I, yeah. I, I don't think I could have come up with uh, anything better than that, I'll be honest. Uh, fair play. Um, Absolutely. So, like I said, uh, it, it's almost coming to the end of, of 2015, uh, which is, well, this year's just gone whoosh, just completely oh. over my head. It's gone so fast, it's ridiculous. Um, we have met some incredible people along the way, and Luke, and, um, <laughs> and, um, <laughs> I want to. I want to. I want to stop there because do you remember on. what I was saying to you about my Christmas present? Yeah, but there's no way that I can get Elizabeth over on a plane that quickly. Yeah, but I know that. But it was the other one that I lost. Because we should say this. This kind of typifies my year. Have we got time for it, or should oh, we? Oh, it? Oh, 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 All right. You mean the Christmas present that you not only lost, you lost spectacularly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This this sums up my year, Thomas. Is I I got okay. I got given. Right. This is this is what it is. It's it's a little drone. Oh yeah, right? yeah. Well, they're, they're brilliant things. They are, and I charged it Christmas Day with my son, who is six and very impressionable. And basically, <laughs> I charged it, and 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 I started up in the kitchen, which it tells you not to do. And uh, I couldn't get it to work at all. I j it just wouldn't, for some reason, wouldn't respond. And then all of a sudden, I put it down on the table, and the thing flew across the. Um, the, the actual, my, my kitchen was very narrow, very long. So I thought, all right, fair enough. I'll go and do the right thing. So I read the instructions and I went out into my garden, right? It's got four little LEDs. It looks absolutely lush, this does. Tried it again with my boy there and I sat there and said, son, this is what the drone does. And I was messing around with it and he said, it's a bit crap, dad, is the battery still in there, right? And I said, no, 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 I've charged it. All of a sudden, Thomas, you have never seen such a perfect takeoff in your entire life. That drone flew straight up into the air over my house and I still haven't found it. Oh my God! <laughs> it's gone. Its maiden voyage was its last. And I still, to this day, and my son just looked at me as only sons can and he went, that's not coming back, is it? <laughs> 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 and I had to look at him and, and, and just admit that I completely oh. screwed up on the whole thing. And I was sat there. And do you know what I did? Just for a couple of seconds, I tried every single button and nothing worked oh, at all. This thing God. flew up with the grace of the earth it's own <laughs> ad and flew straight off into, oh, God, this is the thing. I live right next to an airport. You do? <gasps> Are you sure it wasn't shot down? It probably was. <laughs> I've just completely missed it. This so, drone, um, by the way, it's literally about this big. It, it's the tiny little, it's the tiniest little thing. So, um, if you live in the Fonmon area and you found a drone, <coughs> can I have it back? Please, <laughs> yeah, please, can, can has his drone back? <laughs> and if he doesn't actually get it back, if anybody needs a spare uh, controller and charger, um, uh, I've got con a box and everything. Look, con right here. <laughs> contact us, lapboxshow at gmail dot com, and I'm sure we can get that over to you at some point. Um, but honestly, wow. I'd wish that you were all there because if you'd have looked at the, my son's face, it was exactly how Thomas looks at me when we role play. <laughs> <laughs> confused and slightly angry and laughing and kind of, who are you and what am I doing here? That look, and only you can give me that. In fact, there you go. That's it, right there. <laughs> <laughs> And it's yeah. just like I always have for you, Luke. <laughs> it's just it typifies my entire year drone. I, you know, I, I, yeah, I, I, I say that, that that's probably pretty apt. I've had quite a good year, I'll be honest with you. I, I haven't had anything really major gone wrong apart from, you know, my wife got ill, but she's getting better, so that's she's good. good. Um, and things like that. But hey, it's all set to try us. Try us, it does, but we move on, you know. And talking of moving on. <laughs> oh, what a segue. Right there. Really? 
I'm almost I, I'm almost getting like a radio presenter or something. <laughs> um, wow. So you know, I, I I kind of poured through the uh, the old episodes right back from episode number one. We're not we're not counting Cage's King. That was just a hello. We're going to be doing a podcast. Um, but from episode one, we, there's been so much stuff, right? I mean, hmm. opening up really with the LARP Awards and Johnny Ball. That wow. was just a, uh, a good, one of the a good start of the year. Yeah, and probably one of the most bizarre. Uh, things I think we've ever kind of talked about. Johnny Ball, you know, presenting the LARP Awards. Um, yeah. I just, but apparently, he yeah. did a really good job. Oh, I don't doubt that. He's I, just not the first person I'd have chosen. Uh, you know, that mathematician and everything. No. Um, but yeah, I mean, I suppose the LARP Awards have to, uh, like everyone else, they have to advertise and draw people in. Uh, uh, at least with uh, Johnny Ball, he's someone that I know and I grew up with. So I went, oh, Johnny Ball, that's brilliant. At least we'll have a look at that. So I should imagine they were trying to capture that audience. Well, yeah, I didn't know a lot of people at the awards, or at least a lot of people sort of run, run LARP events or run the shops, are actually not f- around our age. Yeah, yeah, yeah so we, definitely. We all remember Johnny Ball as kids. And... He really played to that. It was amazing. See, Tom only being four. <laughs> no, look at that face. Honestly, look, yeah. little, little face. But he'd right. say you'd never ever know. But you'd probably know Zoe Ball, but you'd never know Johnny Ball. I'm going to Google. Yeah. <laughs> oh God, what is cool. Zoe Ball? Surely you know Zoe Ball. Oh, surely. The Radio One presenter. Please, please tell us you at least know Zoe Ball. Oh, for God's sake, like really? that happened to actually Google it. Yes, somebody. I do. Yes, <laughs> okay, they, okay, good. Yes, now I do, yes, yes. So, uh, yeah, but, that's, but that brings us quite nicely because Johnny Ball was quite a personality and that was yeah, the other yeah, thing yeah, definitely. About, wasn't it? Oh, Where, oh yeah. Uh, you know, do we bring our own personalities into LARPing? Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah I mean, that... Oh, segue, man. <laughs> that, totally. <laughs> you know, <laughs> totally popped out clear, mate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Smashing, wonderful, super... Um, Absolutely, and, and and yeah, I mean that 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 was an interesting discussion. I really yeah. enjoyed that. Is a sheer fact, you know, do we bring our real, the real people who we actually are into our LARP characters? In and you know, and if that's the case, then I'm a complete and utter git. <laughs> <laughs> We've been telling you that for years. But uh, yeah, yeah, no, it's no secret. Know, that's true. Yeah. Why do I, I get, get getting past the psychopathic killers? <laughs> <laughs> No reason. Yeah, yeah. There's, there's, no, there's reason. no reason for that. No, Actually, no reason. Tommy, you were there for this one. So, what, what do you think about this, uh, the whole subject? Of do our real personalities influence what we play in laughs? I think it. Yeah, I think no matter what character you're playing, your personality will come out no matter what. Whether it's you know like a psychopathic killer like you, Rob, or <laughs> a giant crazy monkey dance thing like Luke. You know, it's. <laughs> <laughs> I remember doing that, and I, 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 Thomas, I couldn't even tell you why I did it. It just it made me brilliant. laugh. <laughs> I, oh, it made me laugh. I was completely defenseless. I was done. <laughs> well, I was, that, was, that was the reason for doing it, then. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, so, so just out of curiosity, curiosity then, Thomas, uh, what's mm-hmm. my personality? <laughs> uh, well, I've only ever laughed with you once, and that was for not even a day. Because mm-hmm. you injured your knee, was it? Yes, I popped pop my knee out. Yeah. yeah. Acceptively yeah. flat and unimpeding land. It wasn't. Yeah. I was running up the bank. Yeah. Yeah, that's that crap. It bank. wasn't a bank. It was, it was just the smallest molehill. Yeah. And uh, what we should do is actually get the photograph because in true traditional Luke and Stewie style, we didn't let him get away with it. <laughs> Rob and I were actually kind of comforting him. Not, not Rob Davis and I, it was another. Um, Bob. and basically we took a photograph of him in agony and he had to try and smile all the oh. way through it <laughs> yeah. and because we sat there and said this is a Kodak moment and he went really I'm in absolute agony and I'm about to pass out Click. <laughs> but like the so, true uh, professional that I am I he worked was genuinely my way through smiling and it really annoyed everyone um, <laughs> and then he passed out which we're all kind of going oh uh, um, which you everybody then. Mm-hmm. I would, I would just like to, you know, uh, put the thing to rest. You, I did not pass out. Okay, men do not pass out. We black, we black out. Maybe, we black out. Maybe, yeah, but we do not pass out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> because yeah. fighter pilots black out, mother. You know what I mean? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't pass yeah, out. Yeah, black yeah. out. Actually, right, sort of ladies from 17th century rom- rom- romantic historical dramas pass out or faint. The yeah. men. We black out, out. baby. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, you black out. But that, you see, that went from, <laughs> and we did that in a couple of weeks, didn't we? We did personalities, and then we went on to uh, our own weapons and props. The next yeah. segue. Oh! Oh! Who's been polishing his forehead tonight? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Harry, don't start. Yeah, it's sorry. going to have to be your New Year's resolution. You're going to have to at once, at least, recognise the beard. You know, oh, the beard well, is good. All, all, all hail the beard. All I can say is, Luke, you, you must have had a rest or something, because you're, like, on top form, brother. Yeah, you're really. You're, you're it is. Um, then again. wise I've, yeah. I've been doing the, the equivalent of a run-up. Yeah, then then again, of course, uh, don't forget that uh, my wife Karen hasn't been around you for a little while to beat you back down. So, um, oh, show me your boobs, which is what she did last time, and I still haven't recovered from that. I've actually, <laughs> yeah, and all I can see, I go to bed, and all I can see is this kind of cleavage. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm the same every, every morning, so you know, <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. But Bill Duran and his punished props, they yeah. were spectacular weren't they i tell you what i i i love talking to that guy that guy is such a, a genius when it comes to props it's it's Absolutely. ridiculous you know mm. uh, and considering you know l- like most people he started it as a little kind of side project uh, and has now become his main business you know uh, mm. he still he still runs it pretty much out of his garage even though his garage is about half the size of me house yeah um, but yeah, apart, but you know, apart from that, uh, it's literally still works from home and, and has a, a, a fantastic time. Gets invited to conventions all over the world now. You know, mm-hmm. with it, with his, his costumes. Actually, when, he, when he talked to us, wasn't he about to uh, embark on a trip to the UK for L- London Comic Con? That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Whereas yeah. we're that famous, we'd go to the opening of A, an envelope, or B, an Asda. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> we haven't really been invited yeah. to either of those yet, have we? No. So uh, that just goes to show the kind of scale. It'll get there. It'll get there. We'll, we'll, get there. we'll you know, we'll open an Asda one day soon, Luke. You just keep that dream yeah, alive, you, my friend. Yeah, keep that dream alive. It. I'm, I'm oh, living you know. the dream. Right? <laughs> maybe, <laughs> maybe a spa. Maybe a spa. A spa, you know. yeah. spa. Asda's a oh. bit. No, 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 we can do an Asda. We can do an Asda. Mm. No, yeah. no, you, you, you. <laughs> Thomas is doubting that we can do an Asda. <laughs> we can do an Asda, Busby. Yeah, you, uh, look, you, yeah, what do you know? You've got to you've yeah. have goals. You've got to have goals, yeah. right? Come you've got to have you goals. Do aisle three. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there was little stands that they offer cheese and things like that, you know, mm. kind of, I've been training all my life for that. <laughs> like a Rocky montage. Yeah. Like yeah. A, yeah, well, yeah, we could do that. Well, let's let's not push it because he goes up quite a lot of stairs. <laughs> you just go up the escalator; it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> so you'll see Rocky going up the stairs, and then you'll see me still knackered out going up the escalator. Huffing <laughs> yeah. we'll and puffing. Huff, huffing and puffing. Yes, because yeah. we're expendable. We are. <laughs> do you like what uh, I did there? Yeah, I did. It it's very, very good. good. Very good. Yeah. But then we, uh, yeah. I suppose we kind of we talked about what is it, uh, Carter Johnson's new art? Yes, which is which is in in blazon be- behind me on the podcast, and of course on 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 the T-shirt. Oh God, I, it's all backwards and wrong. Hang on, yeah. that hands it's there. Like it's going everywhere. Yeah, everywhere. On, oh, on that. Rob, show show Thomas's new uh, T-shirt. Oh, yeah, just for a moment. This is good. Uh, yeah. Oh, this is very good because. We uh, well, I, sh- I say we. I really mean we. It was actually Stuart decided on the wording for the back of this one, Thomas. Are you ready for I'm this, Tom? Share that with you okay. for the first time on air. Unique, okay. unique. Hang on. Is that going to give us an eighteen rating? No, no, it should be fine. Okay. No. So okay, there's there's, so there's the, front. the front's nice. The front's oh, really nice. Oh, now, now, look at now. Oh, oh, yeah. to the, back. <laughs> the <laughs> other one. The other one. You see. That's just brilliant, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, they wouldn't. We, they wouldn't yeah. print. They wouldn't print what I actually wanted to put on there. But um, that you really just to put on there as well. They've they've said no. <laughs> yes. Quite, in fact, actually, we had to call them back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but the other one we felt was just so you. It was yeah. So good. Yeah, so I perfect. can see that. I will wear it with pride. So, oh, so, yeah, so when great. we when we eventually go out and start doing our outside broadcasts and and things like that, we can all wear t-shirts and they know exactly who the other one is. 
But we won't be able to do that, Stuart, unless people actually contribute to both Patreon and uh, all the other things that we do. Did you like? Oh, oh, <laughs> oh no, no, really. It's right. just, let, know, let me try the people. Let me just stop this here. You are not actually like l- l- engaging in the conversation at the time. You are thinking about how to segue into the next goddamn bullet point, <laughs> aren't you? So <laughs> I'm on. I'm on to you, Pitt. <laughs> but you are helping me. You're throwing them. I'm firing I, them all down. I know. This, this I know. is genius. It's, People are going to love this. It's how we work, brother. You know. You know it is. <laughs> You know, one of us, one of us always bat, bats them up, you know, gets them ready. The other one knocks them out of the park. It's kind of how it wow. works. Tell you. So, Patreon. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So, you know, uh, coming in every, ab- every month. About about halfway into our our life cycle, we basically started the uh, the Patreon up, um, which, uh, which is doing all right. Thank you very much. Uh, it's definitely thank helping. You mm, thank you. Thank you very much. It's definitely helping us out. Uh, we could always do with a bit more help because we need more equipment, you know, to do outside broadcast things like this and, and yada, yada, yada. So should you want to help us out, go along to patreon.com forward slash LARP book and actually help us out. Um, Would you like to say, Stu, what we're, or would anybody like to say what we're hoping to get for the next year to, so that we can improve what we do? Yeah, now please tell me that you took out the robotic Godzilla outfit from the thing. No, that's staying in. I want that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, no, come on. I, I want that because, <laughs> because I feel you? that that's integral to, to the way that we are and the way that we work. It, Godzilla outfits. All the major people have got them. <laughs> I suppose I, I I suppose we can ask Bill Duran just to make us a view. You know, it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> just I, I, I never object to walking around in the Godzilla outfit. The bigger, the better. <laughs> yeah. So we can have one, and then you know, kind of Thomas can have the other one. The other one is oh, on the back of his shirt. Come on. on. How many of these jokes am I going to have oh, to go through? Oh, it's God. all of them all night because it's taking all of the emphasis off me. Pretty much, oh, you know, okay. not not for long, Tom. You know, you know that, mate. It's it's you know, I'll, I'll I'll eventually direct you know the stuff back to Luke. So don't yeah. worry, but it it will be deflected at some point. <laughs> so uh, you know, Just have have no fear. <laughs> <laughs> Stewie is here. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Stewie's not on form at the moment, is he? No, I'm not. I'm not on form. Actually, you're absolutely correct. Uh, I've got an ulcer in the back of me on, on me tongue back here, so I'm I'm quite conscious. Of trying to talk properly, show, you know. Show us. Um, <laughs> and it's a it's a nasty one too. I'm telling you that now. Let's look a bit green. Well, <laughs> it's 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 a bit ra- it. it's a bit raw. I'm not prodding it. Go I'm on, not, prod I'm it. Not, I'm not going to intentionally, it. right? Give myself pain. Not unless there's whips and chains involved. You know that. Naturally, naturally. <laughs> <laughs> but Which is, you know, so of, uh, we can't show on youtube or twitch or so i'm you know. i'm actually using a good portion of my my mental faculty faculty fa- brain at the moment <laughs> in in yeah, trying yeah. to still that speech impediment i know in trying to actually <laughs> form my words uh sensibly clearly audibly without actually going how <laughs> how <laughs> so, <laughs> hmm. Pretty much. So, um, so yes, you're right. I'm not on top form tonight. No. <laughs> Just purely because I'm having to think. And but I'll tell you, who hurts. was on top form? Who was on top form? Hang on, hang on. We haven't said what stuff we want from Patreon. You can't okay. segue yet until we finish with the bloody section. But you let me know when you need me to ensure because that was a brilliant one and it was perfect and you missed it. You've blown it. Because <laughs> that was brilliant. Anyway, oh, so, some of the stuff that we want. Robert, over to you. Luke, shut up. <laughs> oh come on Roberts we haven't got a friggin night oh we have you're yeah. just waiting for the next segue <laughs> <laughs> okay so what's the things we're looking to get at okay so we've already improved our um, our microphones and cameras yes we have so that, that's looking uh, we could probably do at least one more really good mic yes we could for Luke and, and for Luke <laughs> so, Luke we're thinking of you and yeah. we, we're also wanting to go out a lot more than a lot more now and video and record a lot more laps. So we'd like to get ourselves some really a really nice camera, really good microphone. 
Yeah. And personally, I think, although I'm wondering who should be allowed to fly this, a, a camera drone to, so we can take some aerial shots of labs. <laughs> it's not going to be Luke. <laughs> I'm telling you I'm now, it's saying, not going to be Luke. Saying, I, I went into practice and, and, and I found one way not to fly a drone. Yeah. Right, that's all I'm saying. Okay. Are, you know, it can only go up from it. Well, that drone did go up. It went, it went really way is up. Mm. But, you know, but, pretty, you know, kind of, pretty much as, as long as we don't put it in your hands, Luke, we should be fine. Is that what you're yeah, saying? It should be fine. Don't put it in my hands, Stuart. Okay. You know what I'm like with printers. Yes. Yeah. Do you really and want? Do you carrot. really? Do you really want me to go into that uh, particular story here live on air? That it? paper was pretty heavy stuff. <laughs> <laughs> properly yep. oh, yeah <laughs> yeah yeah you you used to look at me like that confused to the thing thomas busby that <sighs> blood printer really really just does not like me at all okay all right all right <laughs> i don't want to talk about it, it. i don't okay. know i've seen this is a so the printer hates you, you yeah. <laughs> let's, just, let's just move on yeah. Yeah. when the machines rise up and take over that printer's going for you Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, like, exactly. Yeah. Just like the dog did, in fact, actually, at the same conversation. I don't think I've ever seen Karen laugh that hard uh, it, when I was trying to do the printer, getting very frustrated with Stuart with his usual <laughs> nodding tone. He loved it when I've got an IT problem and I call him. And you have to know how desperate I am before I call Edwards because he was there when I had that problem with my mum, and he friggin' made me pay for at least an hour. I'm convinced he had the answer straight away, but he made me bloody wait for it. And, and honestly, it's just gold for him, a nightmare for me. Look, how often am I going to get that opportunity? You, and, and you know, and just to help help your segue out, Luke, you know, you would almost say that that printer was alive alive it was it was and another thing that went out uh this was was of course the final finale of larps the series yes it did but that wasn't the live i was talking about it's the sheer fact that, <laughs> the one, that, yeah. that, that that we went live to twitch and youtube i've already told told you about that i already said that that's what i said live on twitch and youtube i already i bought it i'm way ahead of you there mate you yeah, i didn't hear that did you, you just replay did back you, on did you have that conversation oh, in your head again? <laughs> it's the voices in my head. They the keep voices, on telling me. The voices in my head. Um, but yeah, we went live to, into Twitch. We tried going live to YouTube and we will be trying uh, a few experiments out in the new year mm -hmm. about going live to YouTube now because they've yeah. um, they've upped their game on that uh, and made it a lot easier for people to just go, going live rather than schedule an event here's your, mm. here's your token for that event are you going to be on time are you going to be early are you going to oh my god um so yeah they've just they've just basically taken the twitch model as in press button hello uh <laughs> so we'll be trying that out in the new year uh so yes uh laps the series um amazingly amazing uh Charlie. When when I first came across LARPs a series, uh, I can't remember what the heck I was looking for. It wasn't even LARP related, if I remember rightly. But I you know came across, started watching. And I thought, this is genius. I really love it. And then I got in contact with them, and they ridiculous. I mean, they fantastically said yes uh, to an interview with us. And I must be honest, even though they were an hour late. But we won't hold that to them because remember, oh, that's what they uh, that was Google thought. Google was wrong, you know, yeah. with with the time it was, you know, if uh, yeah. t Tom, I'm telling you now, mate, Google was actually wrong. You googled the time, you know, the time differential between they where they were in GMT, and Google was an hour out. Google's just un out. unbelievable, but they yeah. were very apologetic and they were wonderful to talk to. Oh. Absolutely, they are yeah. very very inspiring people, and they've they've really gone through it, haven't they? Yeah. Um, I, I I looked actually because on Facebook mm -hmm. they had the uh, the making of series two yeah yeah and yeah. and it really did reflect that you know kind of all the directors sound director you know kind of the um, director of photography and all those kind of people how they, one of them was actually saying in fact I think he actually came up on one of the uh, programs so I think his name was George to so George and they had on one of the episodes he was dancing right at the end of it in an awesome way I have to say. Um, <laughs> And it was just brilliant. And he's actually one of, I hadn't realized he's one of the executive crew. And they were saying, you wouldn't believe, but we had to do everything ourselves, you yeah. know. Um, and we were very, very hands on. Now we've got time to make things better. 
um, and they were showing you all the the kind of upgrades in photography that they were doing. And yeah, in the uh, difference, yeah. the difference in the show this year, there was the yeah. second series was was just awesome. And of course, Elizabeth Neal. Yeah, cool. naturally, you know, with all with all the color, with all the color matching they were doing, the the, the foley work that they were doing, yeah. and I, I didn't realize how much a, a foley work went into you know some of the fight scenes yeah. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. you know, and, and I think this is a cre- a real credit to the foley artists on this. I didn't notice it was foley. Uh, right. Okay. I, I couldn't tell you what foley good. is. In fact, actually, so um, I don't know. Uh, yeah, where where foley? where you. Uh, make sounds so for instance you you get like um some some gravel in a in a tray and a couple of boots yeah and right. to you know it's what these do for for, for the radio shows yeah, uh, yeah where yeah, you'd get the boots yeah. in and you'd crunch 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 as they yeah. walked up to the door and they'd have a door knocker there so you know they'd actually do the door knocker for them knocking the door that's a foley artist yeah so so they help put in sounds that aren't actually there but make it sound like they're there. The, the baddest examples, right, are the punch sounds in some of yeah. the movies, right? Oh. You know, or if I like actually add to it, though, don't uh, like that. yeah, I, mean, I you, love that kind of you stuff. know, so, so some of the really bad, you know, uh, fantastically bad, right? Yeah, some of the the, the the Chinese martial arts movies where you yeah, you, yeah, you, yeah. You, you hear the wow, you know, and that sort of stuff, uh, where you actually hear these ridiculous sounds really uh, coming out. Um, but the whole thing was brilliant. I mean, yeah. um, and I, I don't know whether you've seen the um, – because the, only, they only released it a, a day have, or yes. so ago. Yeah, yeah, I'm still catching it. Um, so, uh, no spoilers. Yeah. <laughs> but, no, so I won't spoil it. If you haven't if you haven't seen it, you must watch all of it because mm-hmm. it, it is – it's one of those ones that you can't just come in halfway through. You have to watch right from the beginning. Um, but brilliant. And, yeah. you know, and I'll give – I'll give – and it hurts me to say this. Scott Humphreys, his due. I mean, he was brilliant in it. He was Who? absolutely brilliant. Who? Who? You can't say that. You can't, <laughs> say, um, you can't say that. Now. We can't deny who this man is. He's, he's sheer genius. Um, I can. I can try. Uh, you can, hmm. but we we shouldn't now. We yeah, shouldn't. No, but but Scott. 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 But um, he was he was brilliant in it, and I yeah. just loved the whole the fact that he was he was working you know as a coffee. Some of the latter conversations he had with his uh, his cafe owner boss were just <laughs> inspired. Yeah. Um, but it was it was it was very very good, and I think actually the introduction of all the other characters as well was just it's marvelous. And I actually wrote on Facebook, and I have to keep on remembering that whenever I'm writing, it's as LARP book. I have to keep on yeah. putting it it's Luke, by the way, because I keep on forgetting to change it. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I can't wait for series three. Yeah, just, yeah. I, I agree. Especially, especially if if they try different genres, you know, like the yeah. the cyberpunk stuff as well. They were alluding to, and mm, uh, that would just be awesome, you know. Yeah, sign yeah. me up over there. Yeah. And <laughs> and of course, and of course, I met Elizabeth Neal and and Scott anyway. So I met So I went down to London. I bothered to travel down to London. You were already <laughs> there. <laughs> You, you were already there in London. <laughs> you didn't even know they were there. I told just a, you. Just a happy coincidence, you know. It's just it just happened to. Uh, it, was, yeah. it was all luck, <laughs> rather yeah. than any kind of judgment whatsoever. <laughs> but it was fabulous to meet them. It really, really was. Uh, and hopefully, hopefully in the new year we'll have them back. Yeah, we'll, we'll try oh, and get them again. Definitely, uh, that's 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 going to definitely happen. I can tell that for a fact. Yeah, because I'd love to talk to them now about what, where they're going to go with this. Yes. Hopefully, the you know kind of the next genre that they were talking about, the final scene when they're all in front of the the lake. Um, you know, I, I think hopefully that will kick off, and we'll we'll see this series three come in with a vengeance and I'll have more money. And you know, maybe they should actually do uh, uh, a little website of the paper that actually has um, Elizabeth well, uh, or Shane's column in it. Yeah, yeah, that would be really good of all the scribblings, if that in, indeed exists. But exactly. uh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely that, marvellous. That would be cool. So, yes. But should I do the next segue? Because this, this is international stuff. This we is, actually yeah. discussed, didn't we, about LARP spanning the world. Do you and, we have yeah, and it's, um, and it's actually starting to take shape, it's believe it or not. It's starting to happen. Yeah. That, that was, it, it was wasn't it one of those conversations where we kind of sat there and I could see Rob sat there going, "This could work." 
Um, <laughs> and then when you started after after the show, started going, was anyone interested? Anyone wanted to talk about this? I mean, yeah. Robbie, you might want to take this a bit further. You should probably know a little bit more than I do. But I was I was kind of eerily scared about you know kind of like an you know kind of a global LARP. Yeah. Because of just you know kind of that scary stuff. We've got our own little groups that we tend to you know mm-hmm. go with of twenty thirty people. Now add the rest of the world onto that, and anything could go, and anything can happen, couldn't it? And I mean, the that's the rest just, of the world. The rest of the world, global LARP. Yeah. So Rob, okay. get away. Here we go then. So so so. We're, we've been very slowly, and I apologise to the rest of the group for this, uh, we are very slowly developing this over a, a Facebook group called Living Features. Yeah. Okay. And we now have a wiki to discuss what's going on. We also have two potential background plot lines to, that we, we just, we're hoping to now fuse together to create the alternative world and, and the main driver for the plot. So we have a main driver for the plot. The yep. game is now hoping to be an alternative 20th century. There is an ancient long-running storyline going behind this that I can't discuss because it'll be spoilers. Yeah. Right. But the ga- the, uh, the idea behind the alternative world that we built is that the space age didn't stop Okay. back in the 70s. Yeah. But the internet didn't happen in the same way as it had. We don't have an information society, but we do have fast rocket ships. Mm. And we still have the Cold War. Okay. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, well, and you probably would if, you know, especially if the, the rockets were being developed and what, and what have you. Um, yeah. So, uh, I, you know, I just think that this is absolutely marvellous that this is, yeah. that, that this is taking shape, basically, yeah. from, from a, 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 just a, <clears throat> a pitched idea. As in, mm-hmm. I wonder if we can. What's the logistics of this? How do we get people together? How do we get people talking? How do we, h- how do we or will there be barrier languages? That yeah. sort of thing, you know. And um, well, we do have on. a group. We do have a group, and they're talking about it on Facebook. We've got about thirty-five members, and a call of about four members who are really working on it. Yeah. Um, we, well, I, okay. I could do a bit of help because I've been finding the last two months between sort of the day job and lab book. Just have the day busy, but I could read and I was getting some more people going to help get this energized a bit, bit, a bit, a bit more. Yeah, yeah. Well, I um, think that's maybe anybody wants to come in and try um, pitching ideas and help develop ideas. Yeah. Please do. But our next, our next target now is to start looking at finances and how we're going to finance this, and then how we're going to start developing the plot on which once we know how how we're going to get the budget, and then we've got to start getting people around the world interested. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> But the group is already international. We already have members from more, from more than one country looking at it, which is fantastic. Excellent. That is just awesome. Excellent. Do you know what? I've, I've, just, I've just noticed something. I don't know if anybody else has actually noticed this, but the, the more and more and more that, that I look at Tom and his wonderful baby blue eyes, right? Um, <laughs> yeah. The more and more he reminds me of, um, of, of House. Gregory and House. And the bloody counter. <laughs> <laughs> you're not the first person to say that actually oh, okay. you know that i do st- I, I do video game streaming and oh, yeah, i actually yeah. i actually have a house counter now yes the people that uh call me house or yeah. hugh laurie <laughs> um, uh, do you want to add three other people to that then yeah, go for it well. i'll add it, I'll yeah, add it. You, you may as well hey, to me it's a compliment i think it he's is. a very handsome man and, and, an, and an incredible actor and an incredible actor yes. well at least you've you know got one, one out I of the two I can't look into Thomas's eyes because what I can not stop looking at is his name when it says on, on his uh, Skype name and you, you do leave it there. It's Tom as a, a Busby yeah. because there's a space between the M and the A. Well, I, I don't I, know whether you can I, see it. Tom I, as I can't. It does, for me, it doesn't show like that. I think it's, really, I think really it's actually the font, to be honest with you, Luke. <laughs> but that's not even funny. You're taking it away from me now. I wanted to drive him nuts with that. I'm going to change it now. But I am seeing that as Tom, as B- 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 Tom, B- Tom, as Busby, yeah. Oh, no, I've changed it now. You can go away now. You can go away. <laughs> oh, damn it. No, no, you ruined it. You ruined it. I've got into it, your eyes now. And it? Not yet, it hasn't, because we haven't come no, out of this I call. I still see it. <laughs> hasn't yet. Oh, they are lovely. Tom, as Busby. Tom, Add as. Add another S onto it, and then yeah. that'll be just fine. Perfect. <laughs> What's the, what's the worst that could happen? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> nothing <laughs> you, I dare to think. No, nothing <laughs> at all. But uh, but just between you, you and me, Tom, I do have a, a slight pain in my side and what have you. I just I wonder oh, if yeah. you could actually sort of uh, help out there, you know. 
Oh, I Di- diagnose me. Pants. Naturally. <laughs> <laughs> my doctor's... My doctor says that to me every time. I just say, I'm just here to fill up my prescription. He goes, right, take clothes off. <laughs> Stuart, that, that's not a doctor. That's the Chinese, and they've asked you to stop doing that. Well, just saying. they can ask. <laughs> saying, <'cause>, you know. <laughs> they can ask as much as they like. <laughs> it's not going to happen. Um, I'm always going to get my channel well, While we're upping your house counter, do you want to give a little plug for you for your stream? Yeah. Uh, sure, why not? Why not? Yeah, well, go for it. I, um... I think if you head to, uh, I think it's Redundant UK on Twitch. Yeah. So yeah. www.twitch.tv forward slash Redundant UK, all one word. And uh, yeah, I basically just play games on it all yeah. the time. I think. What am I playing so at the moment? Dragon you're like, you're like um, is it Ali A and um, Dan TDM? My kids always talk about those. Oh, two. it could be. Yes, yes. Yeah, Ali A Basically. and. Dan mm-hmm. T- TDM. I know yeah, Dan TDM well. does a lot of um, at Minecraft. Mm. And Ali yeah. A is starting to, I think he, he did one of the other shoot 'em ups and then he's doing in Minecraft. So you do something very similar to that then, I think. Yeah, I just don't play Minecraft. Right. <laughs> but essentially, I play video games, yeah. yeah, yeah. You play video you games, not Minecraft, yeah. He plays video games. I play the video games. Yeah. Video games. Hey, it was thanks to video games that I got into LARPing. Oh, yeah. true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Decided Stuff. to put it up into practice. Yeah, well, exactly. Exactly. I mean, <laughs> it first went it went from video games, and I really liked it. Fantasy. Ooh. Then it went to D&D. Ooh, yeah. that's ooh, even better. Ooh, ooh. Slope, and then slope. it went to laughing. <laughs> so it's you? kind and of then. like a gradual kind of... Uh, did you want to see just go, woo 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 I did. I did indeed. I, I went, woo woo live on it. Like that. And he's looked back ever since, haven't you? I mean, really, look back. <laughs> look back as in, yeah, fondly, why, why did I do this? Yeah. Why did I do that? Yeah. Um, so, uh, so then, then after, after we did all that and what have you, Luke <laughs> went along to the Raglan Pirate Festival. Yar. <laughs> that was, that was possibly the most fun I've had uh, on a weekend. That, with you know, very on. nearly didn't happen. Uh, <laughs> with my gloves on and uh, safety nets and all those kind of things. But Raglan Pirate Festival, in fact, was the very first and last one to be held at Raglan. But yeah. the an ongoing pirate festival they're running. Um, and uh, uh, amazing fun. Amazing fun. Apparently these go across the country. They're all around if you go and you know, kind of look hard enough. Um, yeah. But they are starting with Lewis Griffith and his cohort. Um, and they're going to be at Caldecott uh, uh, in next year in August. And what we have committed to, and I'm going to remind Stuart of this again, now, <laughs> and you, Rob, and oh. eventually I'm going to have to tell Thomas about this as well, okay, is that you. we've all committed to going yeah this okay. next year um, and we are oh yeah no thomas you are going because i'm going to pick you up otherwise and bring you okay so okay. We, we're all going we're all going um if nothing else just because it's really fun are you are, are you going to pretty much be the mad king george again well they've asked me to be that again They've they've said that they I've I've kind of I don't want it to it's one of those things you know how you do a character and you think this is just a throwaway you know yeah. um, but apparently it went like <laughs> like a storm last year all I did was pretty much offend everyone I met so normal uh, normal every day then <laughs> yeah. 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 normal for a monarch I think <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. um, and uh, they loved it uh, public and pirate alike so yeah it was it's tremendous fun. And uh, hopefully this, if we have uh, all of the money come through and we manage to buy more equipment, that will be something that we'll be able to film as yeah. one of the other events. So and in, I know that in that case, <clears throat> then, in that case, then, can I, can I play your son? You can play my son. You can play. Um, <laughs> I don't know why you would want to do that. Because <laughs> um, I generally, I, I generally look older or shorter and fatter than you. So why not? Which, yeah. which one married the pot plant? I, don't, I, don't, I can't remember. That, that was Mad King George. Mad King oh, George. that is Mad King George. Okay, thank you. And if you look at the photographs on the Pirate Festival, I did bring a plant with me. <laughs> yeah, and it was, it was well, actually the kids. You've got to give it a day out, haven't you? 
yeah i've got to give it a day out yeah, yeah yeah um so yeah that was it was tremendous it was a lot of fun a lot of fun and hopefully it will take off it's one of those things that you know kind of uh, you just don't know but hopefully it will take off because it was a lot of fun for everyone concerned um and in the true traditional style we said if you remember we discussed it and we said that there's cosplay um live action role play and reenactments all in one kind oh, of yeah, festival event. exactly yeah, that's, i exactly. remember that conversation that was an interesting one because i think it's the first time we've ever ha- seen all three merging but it seemed to work so yeah. well yeah it, it wasn't it, you know kind of it, it wasn't perfect because what we needed to do was iron quite a lot of things out they're very different disciplines um but what we had was some very understanding people who were willing to give it a go and i think that um because there were so many you know very patient very you know kind of hard-working people there yeah. it really paid off and as a direct result the the weekend went very very well so we're all going to try and you know kind of attend so anyone out there who is living local and even if you're not travel anyway i think you can camp there <laughs> Um, yeah. and you know, kind of join us, join us there. <gasps> and what, uh, we exactly. can meet all five. Are there still five people on Twitch, Thomas? Four now. Uh, four it's now, four. yeah. But well, we do have a question from Twitch. Okay, oh, go on. Go. What's the question? Yeah, the Fire question away. Is from Traitor Bagel. Fantastic name. Um, he says, Do you lot play tabletop RPGs as well as LARP, or has LARPing replaced it? No, I, I play tabletop RPGs, uh, D&D. Uh, play it every mm-hmm. two weeks. I want to say every two weeks. It tends to be every month, um, perhaps, <laughs> maybe, if everybody's actually around. Because uh, yeah. we all lead, lead very busy lives. And uh, some of, the, some of the, uh, the friends that I play with, they are international jet setters, don't you know? Because uh, they're flying all over the world doing, doing their work and giving seminars and things and what have you. Uh, so it's pretty much, uh, and of course there's me who sometimes just can't be asked because I'm too tired. Uh, so, so yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah D and D yeah. still. Yeah. Rock, I didn't know you did the D and D. Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh my God, how have I not known about that? It's a very select club, mate. Oh, I see. Yeah. In fa- I in, see. In, in, in so fa- you, in fact, I I had to petition <laughs> to get in, and then my mates. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> He hasn't got any yeah. mates. He has to buy them. That's well. that's why he can only do it once a month. He can only afford no. it. Once a month. No. <laughs> I have to say, I, I would love to do more tabletop. I don't get yeah. an opportunity to do it because I feel that, like Tom, there, he, you know, you start off. Uh, I don't think a lot of people go straight into live action role play. I think that's the uh, result of a bit of curiosity. Um, and they start off doing some kind of tabletop, whether it be whatever format, whatever genre of fantasy, wherever. And then all of a sudden they go, do you know what? I'd love to actually do this. Um, and I know so many people who've actually done that. And I was no exception. Yeah. yeah. The yeah, tender yeah. age of 16 when yeah. it first started, there yeah. was I down in Washington in I- Kent. Yeah, I mean, it does almost seem something like, like sort of tabletop is almost a gateway drug to LARPing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's yeah. very addictive. Really, yeah. really addictive. Really I've still is. got all my dice, everything. Yeah. Uh, oh, no, and, no. you know, I still go and buy dice as well. I can't help it. It's like Tourette's. You know, you should do it, but you just go and buy them anyway. Yeah. Um, it's that new dice smell. Stewie. I've I, I've I've got a, a, a special wooden box. It's not yours. It's 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 up Andy's special wooden box for my dice. Right, it's very yeah. ornate. Uh, got stars on the top in brass moldings and things and what have you. And uh, it, yeah, so uh, I'm not sad about it at all. No, no, no. no, no, no. <laughs> But I mean, we we because we did actually talk about tabletop uh, in one of our shows, and uh, and I love. I have to say, I do love tabletop um, mm. because I think there's there's that camaraderie that you maybe don't get in in LARPing that you do get in the very theoretical world of you know setting up your character and sitting around a table and you know all the stuff that you you tend to do, um, and that becomes as more of a social event I think you know kind of mm. half the time. Mm. But we did all nighters. Uh, I always remember telling my mum I was. She said, "Where are you going?" I said, oh, "I'm going to do some D and D." She said, "Oh yeah, what what storyline?" I told her I was going to hell. Um, I was swiftly brought back into the house and, you know, given the Christian talk of hell's not a lovely place to be. And I sat there and went, Mum, it's just a game. The <laughs> power of Christ compels you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, apart from that, once the exorcist had actually gone. Um, yeah. But it was it was strange because my mum just didn't see it at all. And I think that's where that's where we kind of led to is that a lot of people don't see LARP. And, and we mustn't forget that they're not weird or anything. They just don't see it. And yeah, how yeah. I like, like I don't see Star Trek, but Stewie does, yeah. and you do, Rob, but oh, I yes. don't. 
So I think that's where we said that LARP is very is is wonderful thing because it allows you to to pick whatever genre you want, yeah. just like the tabletop does. You can pick whatever genre you want and go and play, um, yeah, and have exactly. as much fun. Mm. Yeah. yeah, you know, and it's it's it is just an excuse for a bunch of mates to get around the table <laughs> and just rip the just take the piss out of one another constantly, because yeah. that's pretty much what what we do in in, in the D and D game. You know, yeah, it's pretty fun. Yeah. Absolutely, and I, and I love it. So hopefully that answers um, and um, you know kind of question there. Yes, we, woman. we'd like to play more. Yeah. All woman. All woman. Like All woman. Man, you know what a Trader Bagel is? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Trader Bagel because you know it's uh, about a pound for every. It's Tracy Bagel. That's what they're asking. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe she spelled it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> but whoever you are, it was a wonderful question. Yeah. So, so you obviously played D and D then, Tom. I do, yes. Uh, yeah. I used to play uh, almost every week D&D. Not so much now, uh, just due to time and yeah. uh, trying to find the right you know, place to play it. But yeah, I played D&D. Um, different editions, like 4th edition, I played a bit of 5th edition as well, but we mainly concentrate on 4th. Um, and we do role play, and we, what we call role plays, which is using the Dead of Night Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Set, which is very simple. It's very yeah. simple. It's more about uh, your imagination and telling your story, which is what I prefer. It's more like free form. You know, whereas yeah, in D and D, you go, I hit them with a sword. Whereas in uh, the role play, you can go, I jump on this and then slam down with my sword while tickling them under the uh, under the arm with a feather, yeah. and you can roll to see if it's successful. Exactly. That's exactly. A different. I love that. Do, do, do you know what? I, when I when I think back, I mean, um, it was. Uh, I used to do a lot over at, 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 at one of my Dave Khan's place, and yeah. he, I don't know if you remember, Rob, but he, he converted his attic uh, into, into a dungeon room. Into, yeah, basically a dungeon okay, room. Okay, you got to be careful when you say a dungeon <laughs> room. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, I remember that, yeah. Well, no, if, if you met Dave, you'd understand. From the time I said chandeliers as well. So. Yeah, you know, if, if, if you'd met Dave, you'd understand. Um, <laughs> and uh, he used to also make... Uh, incredible curries as well, um, which uh, Sue's wife would, would 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 bring up to us about halfway through the night. Uh, one incredibly hot, one mild. I naturally mix the two together to make it kind of okay to eat, you know, and <laughs> not take the roof or my throat out. Uh, I know, I know, Luke, you've you, you've experienced Dave's uh, Dave's curries. Um, Holy shit! Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, and yeah. They, uh, they really do burn, uh, oh, but yeah. th- it's one of those things that you eat it and you go, oh, 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 that's really hot, and then you put another one into your mouth and you yeah. start there going, why am I <laughs> doing <laughs> it? What, me, what is this crack um, cocaine? <laughs> <laughs> um, and 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 now we're we're really lucky because I, I I know it is a, the biggest problem is is finding somewhere to play. I mean, really lucky now. We go up Andy's. He's basically converted his garage into another room that's basically a bar. It's as oh, simple as that, wow. <laughs> right? A bar with a table, and that's pretty much what we play around. Um, so we're, we're we're very lucky that way uh, to not go like, uh, um, is the wife going out? Can we use the living room? <laughs> you know, yeah. uh, I am quite jealous. Quite jealous. <laughs> yeah, it is. It, it is pretty cool, actually. Yeah. So we yeah. So that way. was. It's, it's, I mean, it is, and I love tabletop, you know, but um, uh, leading on to that uh, was we were shown Treasure Trapped, we were, which was we, the... We were given a, the, a, the really, a preview copy, yeah. Absolutely, mm. which is which was a wonderful thing, and uh, that also oh, links okay. into our, our um, competition as well. Yes, well, um, it'll, it'll, it'll link, link into the competition later when we actually do it, yeah. you know, but, yeah. uh, but I do remember uh, me... <laughs> <laughs> there it is! Uh, <laughs> Me having no notes whatsoever, watching it at three in the morning, uh, thinking that it was just mega, and Luke having about six pages uh, of notes and had watched it at least six times. Yeah, wow. I had. Well, it was just the more you watched it, the more you really wanted yeah. to, you know, to to, to see more, because it, it went right back yeah. to the roots of yeah. of live action role play. And I can remember. I, I mean, thinking about it now, I was probably only five years out of the start of LARPing um, and it was still very much a, this kind of new thing that people were experimenting on um, an absolutely brilliant documentary um, really very very inspiring and very very well balanced I think was what I ended on 
because I couldn't speak enough about I it, think, to be honest. Yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, I, I yeah. think I've told all kinds of things, mostly sort of seminal and wonderful, because it's the first documentary yeah, about yeah, that yeah. is balanced and shows yeah. what it's all about. And also, also it gives a very positive view of LARPers, because it doesn't present them as the strange nerd with no social skills. It actually says, well, hang on a second, to do it if you actually... Have mm. to have social skills. Yeah, to have quite it's, a, it's quite possibly a big, yeah. one of the most sociable things you could do. I, I agree. Yeah. You yeah, are yeah. socialising with other people. That is yeah. what LARPing is. Yeah. yeah. Even yeah. if it's hitting them over the head with a sword, <laughs> you're still <laughs> socialising with them as you're going. Yeah. Like that. As, you're, as you're beating them to death. Yes. That's yeah. true. You know, yeah. which is pretty much my my default setting. Uh, I wouldn't lie. Yeah. <laughs> You know, um, rush, rushing at them, clashing into the shield, knocking them to the floor, beating yeah. them crap with a big hammer. I mean, yeah. And, and then slightly going, oh, sorry, did I really hit you that did, hard? Did I really hit um, that hard? Yeah. So Do you want to be a man there? Viking raids were just socialising. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah they they were yeah. just a little too uh, they anxious. Too just too. misunderstood. That's all they were. Yeah. Misunderstood. <laughs> Socialised. Yeah. <laughs> but it was great because where where Treasure Traveller kind of led was was that part of the world, wasn't yeah. it? And they were saying how they've, I mean, their their government have embraced LARPing as part of the education system. Yeah, exactly. And they were saying they were really emphasising what Thomas was saying, which which was no, you really do have to have. Uh, you know, a hell of an imagination. You have to have a lot of social skills, um, and you know, and and any of those two will just be enhanced in a very positive way if you can undertake LARP because they've that they've done and quite scary if you remember that they've done things like they've got that um, that sales marketing kind yeah, of LARP. Yeah. Oh, where they God. sell the That's most fair. obscure and you know in, you know kind of imbalanced things. Where sex was toys wrong. using My Little Pony oh, or something yeah, like that, that was one wrong. of them. Yeah. They and it was like you were sat there going, no. Um, but they were, and the fact that they had to have psychological kind of assistance before and afterwards yeah. to help them cope with it. Yeah, exactly. That's where I started to go, what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, oh, yeah. But remember, yeah, there, there, was, there was... Tom, they're, they're extreme. I mean, I remember watching yeah. a documentary one on, online, not Treasure Trap, something else, where they were showing games that were, how can I put this right, um... Actually, there's no right way to say this, but the games included live live waterboarding, yeah, and prostate exams, yeah, actual prostate exams, what? not role sure. play. not role play. No, no, they were no, actually sure. doing it. Yes, as you sat there playing the plastic. Okay, Thomas, bend over. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I see a rubber glove at the next Balrog. I know I'm in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, hang on the table now. Tell me how you feel. Hang on, mm. hang on a minute. Where's that notebook? Uh, <laughs> things at next Balrog. Uh, yeah, yeah, oh, Bob. Uh, we have re- requests for more prostate exams from Tom. Oh. <laughs> yeah. And you know, and you know, Kez would do it. You so yeah. would as well. <laughs> He'd be the first one in line. You, you <laughs> well, cannot challenge he'd be, Kez because he'll do it. He'd be, the, he, knows. he'd be the first one in line for the exam, let's be honest. Yeah, that's it, love yeah. him. Um, <laughs> but uh, absolutely. Quick so the NHS, though, wouldn't it? I, <laughs> <laughs> I think he'd agree with that. Um, yeah. But yeah, so Treasure Trap, the DVD, is in our hands and we'll be going to some very, very lucky person. But it's a, it's a, it was a great documentary. And I th- but they have taken it a little bit further, haven't they? As well, I, I notice um, they've, they've done some more with it. But they're yeah. now advertising quite heavily on the online and the DVD to get all that out. So, yeah, very, very good. I really enjoyed watching that uh, documentary. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Really. Definitely superb. Um, and then, of course, uh, our lovely Thomas uh, came on board with us. Um, I don't still how or know why he said yes, but we're glad. I don't we're, know, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm genuinely honest here, I don't think he heard the question. <laughs> he just said, yeah. It's, it's, it's one of those moments where you think you hear and you just go, uh, yeah, sure. Sure. Yeah, what's yeah. the worst that could happen, right? Yeah, <laughs> you know. <laughs> oh, it's but, the worst yeah. that could happen. <laughs> yeah, happen yeah. But mm. but you know, fair play, Tom. Tom does actually sort of handle uh, an awful lot of the social media stuff for yeah. us, um, making sure things get retweeted and stuff and yada. Yada, yada, yada. Really, thank you, thank you, Tom, for that work. Yeah, you know, and in fact, you know, 
Thank as you, yeah, a, as a thank you, naturally, we have got you that T-shirt. That's only seventeen pounds, by the way. Uh, okay, thank right you, on. thank you. Discounted price, uh, yeah. discounted from ten, is it? Yeah, that's yeah. the one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. actually, we should tell him the truth here because we're only going to charge you twenty-five. Yeah, oh, that's, the truth. that's mate's rights. Yeah, uh, you know, oh, we, we're, you know we think it's only price. fair for the level of work that you do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. totally, yeah. totally. So I mean, all I, I, in all fairness. All I do is click a button. This is true. So you know, just j- just like me, that's all I do is exactly. is click, click a, button. a button. Well, you do there's, do, Stuart. You there's just no click, click a couple of buttons. And that's it. There's no setup of this show at all, or any any sort no. of you know nothing. Nothing, nothing is needed, and you've proved on several occasions yeah. that you can't even get that right. <laughs> I have proved. <laughs> I have proved you are quite correct on several occasions that I can absolutely and equivocally and uh, just cock it up. But yeah. you are lucky. I'm not in control. <laughs> well, the show. Let's let, let's just say if you were in control, number one, we'd lose it over the top of your house, and number two, it wouldn't happen. <laughs> Look, that bloody drone had a mind of its own. You've never seen anything fly off with so great <laughs> that quick. Honestly, if that drone just flew off, I mean, on the box it says this is very quick. You know, <laughs> I can vouch for that. I, really, I can. It's it's just amazing. It's. Just what, it didn't come back. What you don't actually realise, Luke, that if all of the technology that you own had the capability to t- to basically lift off from <laughs> your house, it probably would just to get away from you. You know, it's strange. I've si- seen the computer and the printer at the back door a few times, looking yeah. a bit nervous. <laughs> You know, as if to say, oh, sorry, we weren't expecting you back so soon. Uh, <laughs> the paper and all the other, like, cartridges, the toner cartridges. And uh, I'm starting to begin now, you know, to, to think it might be true. You know, and you, and, mm. and you just call back, you know, you go, Beck, have you been cleaning the room again? <laughs> yeah, yeah. No. No? Uh, well, see, see Stu, I, I have a theory about this. Go on, huh? I think the machine revolution... The thing that's going to take over the world and destroy us all is all going to be made up of Luke's escape di- I, Luke's escape kit. <laughs> I can see that. And that phone is out there now. <laughs> phone that's what it is. Where, where, where the, the, the drone sits atop of it all because it could get to the top to begin with. It's in the tree watching me now, isn't it? Going, I've yeah. got to work. Yeah. I'm going to kill him. I'm going to kill him. It's well. actually doing surveillance. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it's Just gathering intel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, honestly, Tommy would you never seen anything fly that quickly. Oh, he still God. was absolutely amazed, Fantastic. and so was my son as well. Yeah. Until he as, suddenly realised it wasn't coming back. Yeah, yeah, as he shook his head and just walked off. Into <laughs> he knows me now. <laughs> he just knows. Like I shouldn't have even turned it on. No, but it was. I was just pressing all the buttons on the remote control. Nothing was going on, and then it just flew off. I'm surprised actually. He didn't say, "I told you to wait for Uncle Stevie to show you how to use it." Yeah, he um he's clicked on to calling me fat boy, um which uh, is uh, is brilliant. I I love the fact he's got such a character about him, and he every <laughs> once in a while you know he he'll sit there and he'll go that in goes well, well as you'd hope did it fat boy. And I'm sorry, <laughs> that was me that said that. That's just it's the little me, and in years to come he won't have any hair and a goatee yeah. beard. And, Exactly. You know, and there exactly. you are going I'm so proud honestly so, it makes you so, so proud. proud you're almost welling up a little tear yeah <laughs> that's my boy that's my boy <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I promised I wouldn't cry. Yeah. <laughs> but but however however Tom we do have a small bone to pick with you though however you know just oh, let you know. Oh. Uh, oh, we yeah. you know when you first came on board uh, one of the things that we did ask you to do oh. was to actually get in Hello. touch with Jeremy Clarkson because we had a challenge for him. Um, and I don't believe that ever came to fruition. Uh, I don't think you even attempted, did you? Let's be honest. He, he doesn't control his own Twitter mm. feed. So yeah. it went yeah. through his people and his people kind of just filtered it down, I believe. Okay, so so in other words, you you you, you, basically, you basically tried once and stopped there. Then that's sort yeah. of it. Yeah, in true LARP book yeah. fashion. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a first you don't succeed. Just leave, leave, it. Just, yeah. just leave it there. <laughs> just, just, just leave it, leave it alone. No, 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 no. Look, in true fashion, would be for first you don't succeed. Hit it with a hammer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, hit it harder. Yeah. <laughs> Get a bigger hammer. Get a bigger hammer. <laughs> yeah. So uh, basically then, what we're saying is we issued our challenge to Jeremy Clarkson and it was declined. It was, yeah, it yeah. was it was basically declined. So uh, Jeremy the Clarkson, uh, if, if this the ever seat. gets, yeah. if this ever, ever gets to you, chicken, chicken, chicken. 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 <laughs> you are nothing so bad. You've got to go on Amazon Prime. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, <laughs> 
Kindling <laughs> Which Gamble, I thought, for by the way, I love you. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> but someone else that we love, Stuart. Oh yes, yes we do. Someone else that we truly love. Oh, yes. We 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 love us. we love this man with uh, more of a passion than maybe two or three. Uh, grown men should actually have for another man. <laughs> for one um, man. For yeah. one man, anyway, at the very minimum. <laughs> and, and that, of course, is the sword master himself, Kevin McCurdy. Oh, it almost needs a round of applause right there, doesn't it? Yeah, okay. Yes, it does. I introduce him again? Yeah, okay, him. go for it. No, no, no. Ready? Have you, have you got one lined up? I haven't. I, I, I didn't. I didn't know. Uh, Honestly, I, I, like. can, I can, I can do... Um, yeah. uh, Go on then, go for it. Ladies and gentlemen, the one, the only, the one and only, Kevin McCurdy. I'm just glad you're doing this in the privacy of your own room. Yeah. That that wasn't the one that we had. No. I'm just glad you're doing that in the privacy of your own what? Home. Home. Uh, uh, I just told her how. I mean, I mean, you, I mean. <laughs> That's all I heard. <laughs> you you could always do this one, which I know Kev could probably pull off. I'm a right. dude plain a dude disguised as another dude. <laughs> yeah, he could do that. <laughs> In fact, we're going to have to get him to do that. Were we supposed to go for some sword training? Yes, we were. Yeah, we were supposed we're to, to get yeah. that sorted. That is yeah. the so want to do that. Point. He's he's just he's so busy that uh, his work takes him literally around, around the world. The world. Yeah. Around the world. He's a very, very hard man to get. In fact, actually, I think the first time we did go sword training, and I think Stewie organised it. Yeah. Um, you know, at, at that point, he was going off somewhere else. So he did that day in Cumbran with us, and then he 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 was off somewhere else, wasn't he? He was yeah. going off to do all of the choreography for uh, Batman, Batman. Uh, the live stage show that that travelled around the world. Wow! Oh, yes, yeah. very he, good. And he was very recently on, what was he on? Very oh, uh, a TV show, wasn't he? He got slapped or did some slapping. Yeah, he, thought he was a policeman, wasn't he? He got yeah. slapped, yeah. <laughs> that, that was on Facebook. It was one of those, um, oh, I forgot yeah. what it is. It's one of those series, isn't it? On, it's, on, it's, it's, not, it's not like Publicum or something like that, is it? No, 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 no. no, 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 no. Publicum. Uh, oh, I forgot. It, it'll come to me, the name of it. Um, but it's, uh, oh, and it's going to really annoy me, that is now. Um, but yeah, he did it, and I actually saw the uh, the bit on there. He looks really good. His face was an absolute picture um, <laughs> because uh, he just goes in, you know, if you're not doing it properly, you know, you know that yeah, he, yeah. He, he just won't have it. No, so exactly. you have to really go for it. You have uh, to slap Kevin. Good. Oh, do you remember we had those competitions where what we were trying to do is get the other person to concede? And he yeah. told us both off, Stuart, because he didn't feel we were going heavy enough on each other. I know. Yeah. Look, and, my yeah. face hurt. I'm telling you. Honestly, I'm kind of not really looking forward to this sword fighting training. <laughs> oh, it's no, great. It's fine. It's, it's, it's everything. Oh, uh, Kev, a couple of years ago as well, I was trying to shoot some uh, zombie vid, uh, zombie film. Yeah. And Kev brought over his uh, trainees. Yeah. Uh, do you remember? And yeah, we remember. actually did, did a... We actually, over in, in the hills over Brecon, we did a number of sort of combats and gunfights. And he was... What he organised there was spectacular. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I must, think, like I must the guy's a legend. those videos out for people and uh, yeah. put it online. The guy, the, well, the, the guy is a legend. But uh, you know, as uh, Tom, all, all you got to remember, as long as you can remember the safe word, you, you're fine, mate. <laughs> 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 Which we've created just for you. Of yeah. carry on, carry on harder. Okay. Um, <laughs> uh, please don't stop. Please don't stop. Give me stop, more. Stop. Please don't stop. Hey, how did you know my safe word? <laughs> <laughs> I know. Uh, I know everybody's yeah, safe word. I just need to look at them once, and you know, like I know, for instance, Robert's safe word is Timothy. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah. I can't repeat Luke's safe word because uh, this is a family show. <laughs> In some way, a family show. <laughs> no, I can't. I can't actually repeat Luke's safe word because I know it, and then yeah, that'll be given out of the world. And yeah, so, you know. <laughs> yeah, we don't want to let that go. Down. No, no, not not really. Um, so yeah, Kevin McCurdy, Swordmaster himself. What an absolute legend! And we will, we will definitely go ahead, ahead, and, and hook that up where we all go along and get beaten up. Yes, yeah, and we really will get beaten up as well. <laughs> but it's all good, honestly. Tom, if you get a chance to go, you have to yeah. go. Oh, I you certainly want to. Mind, yeah. mind you, mind you, know, don't forget. You know, he struggled wrestling me. You know, do, do you remember that? He might be getting a wrestle. You know, I, 
I think what I really remember as well is the fight he had me and Luke getting, engaging in. Yeah, that's right. That yeah, was, where everyone actually was, thought we were fighting, weren't fighting, they? Yeah. yeah <laughs> everyone yeah. stopped and looked at the fighting. No, no. Yeah, because we were literally going at each other. Oh, God, and the, yeah. the, I mean, he was he was one of those people who said, look, you've, you've really got, if you're going to yeah. make it work, you have to. And, and with this, I mean, we, we actually punched each other several mm. times during yeah. just practicing it because you have to make it look so realistic and that it's actually a proper fight whereas if you do it properly you know and you you, you um your choreography is good you won't actually hurt each other but yeah. it just looks as if you're kicking the crap out of yeah. each other exactly. and we just went for it didn't we oh dear that was really really intense and of course as per normal my daughter got to beat the living crap out of me <clears throat> yes. yes yeah yes it's yeah. A, it's it's it's, it's always becoming a hobby of hers now no. <laughs> <laughs> particularly good your little katie uh, yeah. kind of yeah. say your little katie she graduated very recently she did and yes he's, he's, he's getting married hopefully yeah. soon yeah. you know yeah. to her lovely other half um Co- so yeah absolutely couple of years time, uh, I think. sorry what couple of years time we think well, yeah, slowly and surely. That's yeah, that's you know, exactly. build the foundation. That's exactly. what we've got to do. Exactly. Um, but yeah, so it, it, it's uh, Kevin McCurdy. What, what a legend! And uh, yeah. I keep on saying that we're going to get this fight thing. I really should do more to try and get him and engage him to uh, to kind of commit to a date. Yeah. Um, so that we could publish it and maybe get people who are local. And even yeah. if you're not, just come along anyway. Are Ooh, you yeah. local? Local. Are you local? It's local fight club for local, local people. Local, local fight club for local <laughs> people. Um, first, first of all about this fight club is we tell everyone about this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> tell everybody, bring your friends, it's fine. Um, <laughs> we also have cakes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> cake. cake or death. Cake or um, death. Um, only fight club cake, with cakes. <laughs> <laughs> the, um, and, and then, you know, from that then we went on to, and Rob, we, you know, when the weather calms down because... Um, <laughs> yes. Uh, we're not used to this over here, by the way, America and everybody else in the world that's listening. Um, we are not used to storms and high winds and all the rest of it, right? Rain uh, that doesn't stop for about two months. Yeah, yeah exactly. we're used to drizzle. Yeah, that's, drizzle, that's constant sounds. drizzle, etc. We can live with that, but no, this is like yeah. a, this is like a, you know, it's not actually a hurricane, but to us, it's like a hurricane coming through, mm. right? Um, so we will get round to actually doing the video about the uh, pipe bows uh, that we alluded to uh, in one of the episodes. Yeah, so we were discussing pipe bows, and then I've, I've now got my hands on a really good one. Yeah, exactly. Uh, we want to take it out and do a nice video comparing it actually to a really good quality wooden bow. Yeah, which is yeah, which which is what I've got. So, yeah. um, and we literally have had non-stop appalling weather since we did since we had. Yeah. It. It just has not stopped, but we will get round to that uh, and what have you, and mm. do do a little vidya. Uh, I'm not sure what the quality is going to be like because it'll probably be shot on either uh, one of Luke's cameras or my phone, either one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Either way, it's we'll, going to be right. We'll give it a go. Yeah. You know, we'll give it a go. Yeah. Um, oh yeah. By the way, Luke, I wiped all that stuff off the camera you, you give me just to, so it's safe, mate. Oh no! Okay, when I say I wiped it off, I backed it up. <laughs> you know, okay. because yeah. yeah. like half of it, you know, you you, ca- you can't get those props anymore. Well, this is true, yeah. you know. and we won't get the money out of the people if we don't actually have any evidence. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, um, just saying, it's all money, it's all gold, love, it's all gold. Pay per view site it was going on, wasn't it? Remember, <laughs> and really, you should tell Becky at some point. I'm just saying. Um, she made yeah. it. She's directing it. She did all the lighting. So you know, kind of, you don't really need to. She was there. Yeah. <laughs> um. <laughs> uh, and then, of course, um, we decided to throw up an actual shop as well. Which was really because it's in the back of my throat for quite a while, and <laughs> yeah, it's good to get, it's good to get out, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, shop. Uh, shop. <laughs> um, <laughs> And uh, we've we, we've already had some orders from it, and I mean, people have bought stuff. So thank you very much for everyone that's actually bought things from the yeah. shop. Um, like I say, I have my mug; it's downstairs <coughs> at the moment because I've been using it constantly. I really, absolutely have. And my wife said, "You really must actually wash that at some point because there's mold <laughs> growing in it." Um, I'm fine with the mold. You know, it's fine. It's all it's all penicillin, right? Uh, it just adds to the flavour. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Um, but top top quality merchandise fair play uh really low stuff and of course helps the show out no end um oh yeah all of the links to the shop and what have you will be in the show notes later today uh or probably this evening or tomorrow either one when rob gets around to it 
But they'll be as soon as we can, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, another reminder as to where the shop is. Yes, that is and over on red, yeah, redbubble.com. And just yeah, search for that book. redbubble.com forward slash people forward slash that book forward slash shop. Yes. Uh, but however, I think you've put a link, haven't you, Rob? Um, from it's the actually on, it's actually on the main menu now of the main lab book site. Yeah, like we now have so many links in them that the time we've been talking about for some time has got to happen soon because we've got yeah. links everywhere now. <laughs> yeah, exactly, yeah, exactly. Uh, so we'll, we'll get that done. Um, so I think it's probably time uh, to do the competition. What do you reckon, guys? Oh yeah, I reckon we should. I'm excited. Okay then, right, no problem. Okay, which one um, first? The first one is for the DVD. Okay. Well, I've got a question on that one because they have not sent the us Blu -ray. a DVD. They sent us a Blu-ray. Yes. Ooh, I, have I, it here. I ah, keep saying DVD. All glossily shrink wrapped. Yeah, I, I, I keep saying DVD because I don't have a Blu-ray player. It's as simple as that. <laughs> but don't you worry. You were saying VHS only a month ago. It, it well, does true. include a digital download. A digital oh, download. Yeah. Rather, as opposed to an analog when it comes on records. So <laughs> I've... I've actually got a random uh, name picker thing and what have you that I found on Tinterweb. Uh, I've, test, I've tested out a, num a number of times and it does make funny noises. So uh, this is, I'm going to press the button and of all the people that have entered in, in, into this competition, thank you much for entering. Let's see who the winner is. Here he goes. Here he comes. Yay! It is the winner is Grace Main. So congratulations, Yay. Grace. Grace well Main. Done, Grace. You yeah. well what done, I'll do Grace. is I will email you uh, and we'll get the details off you and we'll get that shipped to wherever you are in the UK world. In the world. Every, anywhere. <laughs> Where, wherever it is. Yeah. Uh, so congratulations uh, to you for that. Now I just need to grab the other one and load their names in. Uh, is it me, or does that random noise generator sound like a robot jack in it? Probably no, just you. Just you. Just oh, you. Yeah, yeah. Okay, it's just yeah. me. Okay, that's just, fine. just, just. Okay, so this this competition and this is when uh, Krampus Mead, yeah, from Blanche <laughs> Mead, and that's being supplied to us by the wonderful people of Crimson Moon, who have offered next time we next time they're anywhere near us that we should go and meet up and taste mead. Yeah, definitely, and we will, we will, we will definitely do that. And it's the only, it's probably the only time where I'm going to actually be kicking myself that I'm teetotal. Uh, but hey, at least you got a driver, eh, guys? <laughs> you know, we were kind of banking on, to be honest, <laughs> relying on, Stu. <laughs> relying on, it. not just relying on, insisting. Uh, so right, let's uh, let, let's spin that wheel, as they say. So uh, here we go. Okay. I do I do love I do love that fifthly. That's not at it, all painful, is it? <laughs> it it makes me giggle, honestly God. So the winner is uh Mark Axon. I love the last name, dude. Fantastic. Axon. Uh Mark Axon, uh we will basically be in touch with you. Um hey. to, oh, to find out me. yeah, where to send the meat to. I'm really hoping that when I talk to you you are of legal age to drink alcohol. Okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> otherwise oh, really? Otherwise, it'll have to go to uh, one of the other people and I'll have to randomly pick again. So I really do hope that you are of legal age and you're going to have to prove it. I don't know how yeah. yet, but you're going to have to prove it. Uh, all goes to Mark Axon's mum. Yeah. Or dad. Or, or, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so congratulations to those two. And um, that's, uh, I think, is that going to be kind of it, guys, for the show? That is. Uh, yeah. 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 Oh, no. We, uh, are you... You've put an event oh, in, have you, Rob? Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hang on a second. Just a little reminder for folks. Um, okay. the, if you fancied a day event um, this month. Okay. As opposed to a weekend event. So you go you go down in the morning, play for the day. It finishes. Yeah. It's uh, um, scheduled to be on January the 16th, which is a Saturday. It's at Woodbury Common uh, at Scandinavia Exeter-ish. <laughs> Here we go again, Luke. <laughs> Okay, and it's a forest argent event. So they're not really talking about the stories line, yeah, like, but I have, I've become a bit of a fan of forest argent this year because I attended one of their one of their weekends. Okay, and the costs are wonderful. Uh, if you go, if for crew or first timers, 
free. Yeah. For club members, a fiver and non-members a tenner. Wow. Cool. You don't Actually have to worry does. about it because you'll never friggin' find it if you use <laughs> uh, Rob's, uh, you know, kind of directions. So you don't have to worry about this. Somewhere near Exeter, it's fine. Somewhere near yeah. Exeter. That's, that that's be, better yeah. than he normally does it, in fairness. Yeah. yeah. So he's narrowing the search down a little bit, but we will put the... Uh, the Facebook page into the show notes so people can uh, actually ooh. Ooh, hang on, hang on. And they're also meeting at a Toby Carvery. Oh, oh count, well, count, uh, count me we've in. said that's a prerequisite before, haven't we? Really, for a <laughs> yeah, day. Can't count me in, you know. <laughs> uh, so, apart from that, um, I think that's all good. So, I think it just uh, from me uh, at the moment to say thank you, everybody that's actually tuned in over the year and, and listened to us drivel on uh, <laughs> and what have you. <laughs> Uh, it's a, a, a big thank you to uh, Luke and Rob obviously for being there from the very beginning thank you to Tom for coming in about three quarters of the way sh- through and not doing an awful lot really but he gets a t-shirt out of it so <laughs> yeah, uh, you know I did it for the t-shirt Tom, 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 one final question for Tom yes did that gentleman ever get his, t- his cup of tea mm, yeah the gentleman oh, from, he's from, from the oh, he's from the states you know, I was hoping that no one would remember that. Oh, we don't forget That was stuff. the conversation with Bill Duran, wasn't it? Uh, no, that was another gentleman. No, was that it? was... Um, he was American. Yeah. Oh, that now... It was about down. American uh, American LARP compared to British. Yes, it was, yeah. I was yeah. Sorry, I thought... I don't oh, know why. Because uh, Bill Duran's phoned me a few times and asked for his coffee. <laughs> um, <laughs> but he so hadn't even done his, to be honest with you. But you've gone and forgotten the other words. Oh, let's just hope he doesn't ever come back and think, do you know what? I wonder whatever happened to that LARP book event. That lovely Thomas. He was going to oh, fax me a coffee and then just hasn't. <laughs> <laughs> you know, well, oh, no, unfortunately, uh, the budget for the LARP book doesn't cover coffee. Doesn't um so, uh, yeah. <laughs> Did you see your nose growing? Yeah. Did you see it? Did you, did you see the profile of me? <laughs> <laughs> so um uh, look if you if you get any any sort of value out of this show at all, even if it's just to giggle and walk into a lamppost, um then why not sort of help out the show by supporting us on, on Patreon, uh, which is over at patreon.com forward slash LARP book. Give as little or as much as you can, and if you can't do that, tell people about the show. Uh, so they can give to Patreon now, so they can listen to us and what have you. Or, if you don't feel like sort of uh, splashing out monthly for something, well, go and buy yourself, especially with all the Christmas money that you would have probably had from aunties and uncles, uh, go over to the shop, um, basically over at Redbubble, uh, and uh, buy some fantastic cool swag for yourself, because that will help the show out as well. Um, and I think that pretty much uh, says it all for me uh, and whatever. Any any things from you guys, Rob? Actually, it looks just a reminder about it. I, and we should really just remember to wish everybody now a happy new year because we won't be seeing anyone now until 2016. Yes, we exactly. Won't be. Exactly. Happy. I was trying to do that subtly, Rob, but thanks for blowing me out of the water. Uh, <laughs> I was good at that. <laughs> Typical yeah, and traditional Rob style, that, isn't it, really? Yeah. Blows you out of the yeah. bloody water. What are you typing, Luke? What are you typing? Um, <laughs> what are you typing? Yes. What's that say? Really well, I just wanted to say, because I wouldn't do it, the, the, you know, the happy Christmas thing, so I thought it was too early. Um, but hopefully everyone <laughs> had a wonderful Christmas. But I will do the happy new year. I, I'm going away from usual kind of criteria. So just to wish everyone a very, very happy new year. Yeah, and, um, exactly. You know, from all of us, uh, and Tom. <laughs> from, yeah. from all of us, I'm and surprised Tom. I was in, in, you know, included in that. You know, it's because yeah. you can't friggin' talk, Tom. That's what I it can. is. Mm, Let's bring a sentence can. together. We're yeah. giving you the T-shirt because you are the other one. I mean, you have to know mm-hmm. this. Um, but happy New Year to you, yeah. anyway. Thank you very much. And uh, Celine from the chat also says happy holidays to you guys. Oh, as well. bless. Thanks, Celine. Thanks, Celine. Thank no you problem. Very much for that. Right then, so uh, let's let's kind of get out of here then. Um, okay. Do this. So, uh, music was provided by Ben Sound over at bensound.com. We still thank him very much for the music because it is awesome. Uh, again, Patreon, go across there, give us some money uh, to basically make this show better and better. We can do outside broadcasts and everything. You can reach us basically by going. Uh, emailing lapbookshow at gmail.com um, send anything in you like send us in audio files send us in video files send us in questions whatever yeah 
we're gonna read them i can guarantee it um if you want to get to the show uh go over to larpbook.podbean.com uh, and that we can get to all of the shows uh there's an rss feed there and everything uh larpbook.com that's where you're going to see the news reviews uh different things that are, are coming up throughout the year and different articles on different things and that is awesome and we'll get a revamp we're on facebook twitter uh, google plus just basically look for larp book and you will find us and don't forget give us a five star review on itunes uh so that's it from me thank you very all very much all for for being there uh say good night everybody good night everybody good night, good night. <laughs> oh wait <laughs> And that's the end to say happy new year as well. <laughs> oh, oh, thank you. Well, that's, that, that's okay. I love it because we don't know whether it's a he or a she. Yeah, it's a he. He did say it's it was a he. he. Ah, right. love it. no, no, okay. Well, look, we're, we're, we're still streaming to Twitch. This will go up on YouTube. So, you know, we, we can say yeah, ha- we can say happy, happy new year to everybody that's uh, watching this video uh, or, uh, or watching it live on Twitch. But we'll be up on the two YouTube later. Okay. <laughs> Uh, so thanks a lot, guys, for, for being there. And thank you, uh, the viewers in Twitch. We will see you again in the new year.